You've been interviewing players uh, for the Players Tribune and, and people outside of basketball too. Talk to John Legend. I oh, did. that's big time. I did. That, that was one of my, my favorite artists. Um, I was able to talk to, you know, Coates as well. Uh -huh. um, you know, just trying to interview people who, you know, I've been inspired by, people I want to learn from. And in those conversations, just trying to put it out there to the public, like, you know, this is what I'm learning. You yeah. know, hopefully you guys can take some of that, from, something from that too. What's it like to be on the other side? Because it's normally people like me just pestering you with questions. Man, I got a lot of respect for you guys. It, <laughs> it is very difficult to conduct a good interview. Because, you know, a lot of times, you know, you're sitting there, you're listening to somebody, and you kind of just, like, get wrapped up in the response. You're like, oh, I got to come up with a follow-up question. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Or right. the questions you wrote down, you're like, he's ain't going to cut it. This is what <laughs> right. I'm hearing right, right. now. So uh, it's, it's a lot harder than you think. Thank you very much. See? <laughs> there we go. What else have you been up to this offseason? Uh, just working out. You know, we got a lot of new guys on the team, so, you know, trying to have everyone come together, work out, that's been huge for us. And, you know, we're feeling feeling good coming this next season. Yeah, all right. So Where's let's... your workout tape? We've well, seen yeah. everybody's <laughs> workout tape. Where's your camera crew? Where's your camera crew? Man, you know what happened was they, they forgot to hit record. They were doing all these crazy shots and mm -hmm. crazy angles. You know, amazing. redoing stuff, and it just hasn't, hasn't come out. This has right? been the theme of the week on the jump, because apparently no one ever misses when they're doing IG videos. It's amazing. Every shot goes wow, I mean, I just shot. I'm just, I'm just don't have those kind of workouts. I'm just I'm waiting for that time to happen. <laughs> you mentioned the Mavs. I, I do want to talk to you about your full-time job. What do you think the ceiling is for the Mavericks this season? You know, I think we have an opportunity to make the playoffs. I mean, you know, we look at our, our roster. You look at, you know, who we have there. Um, the additions of DeAndre, mm -hmm. Luca, as well as a number of other guys this offseason, I think will help us. And, you know, I think that, you know, with good coaching like we have um, and guys that, you know, are tired of getting, you know, kicked every single night, yeah. there's a chance. Yeah. I mean, look, it is a crowded West, but there are a lot of teams yeah. like you guys who didn't make the playoffs last year who think, no, we can make it in. We're talking about the Lakers in the first segment. They certainly think they're making the playoffs this year. So it's going to be interesting. And I know the organization wants to send off Dirk Nowitzki in the right way, if indeed this is his last year. I mean, my Lord, he might just play forever. He what, might. Have, what have you learned from playing with him last couple of years? Man, um, you know, Dirk, I mean, there's, there's so many different things you can say about him. You know, when I very first signed in Dallas, he was like, you know, hey, man, you want to get some shots up? You know, let me know. And I'm like, okay, you know, at this time, he's, I guess, 38 right. at that time. And, you know, just being with him in the gym every, after practice, you know, he just was in there an hour, hour and a half. I'm like, dude, you're 38, man. You're going to be able to walk tomorrow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, he's, you know, he just loves it. He's still putting in work. So I think the biggest thing I learned from him is just, you know, you have to put in that time. You have to lead by example that way. You know, 38, he's still on the court of guys who are, you know, 21, 22 are, you know, going and getting ice and getting stretched and, you know, about to walk out of the gym. There you go. I think it's great that you can be around greatness like this and you can learn from it because as he moves forward, you know, you're – you're the one that's going to be carrying the torch. I mean, yeah. if you're not already carrying it for Dallas. But what, what, are you, what are your expectations? You know, you said you want the team to make the playoffs. You have an opportunity. What are your expectations for yourself? You know, you're the guy now. You mm -hmm. have some young talent around you. you. You come from winning. So I know it's frustrating to be around an environment where the wins aren't piling up like they're used to. But what are your expectations for yourself? You're the guy now. You're mm -hmm. one of the highest paid on the team. What, what do you envision yourself? improving on this year and taking that next step because I believe you can be an all-star in this league. Absolutely. You know, I think, you know, closing out games. You know, you look at our roster last year, you look at our games, we lost 30 games by five or less. Wow. You know, so I take that, you know, personally, you know, as being that guy, as being the guy who... 30 games by five or less. Wow. I mean, you know, we probably got the stats here that say 30, 34, 35, or whatever it may be, but uh, <laughs> it, 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 it was 30 plus. Okay. We lost by five or less. So, you know, as, you know having the ball in my hands, That's I have that responsibility. Yeah. Um, you know, I got to take that personally. So, you know, this year, I think being able to close that games um, will be huge for us. Well, I'll send you some of my highlights and close it up. <laughs> oh, see, you man. Me. What are we doing here, man? Wow. She complained about how hard our job <laughs> is. He's boasting about him closing games. Come on. There you go. So, uh, the big draft pick this year, Luka Doncic, one of the best passes in the draft, one of the best passes in the draft in a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, when you combine that with Dennis Smith, excellent athlete. You're an excellent athlete. DJ, excellent athlete. What kind of difference of style of play do you see happening for the team this year? Man, it's funny, you know, uh, you know, Luca didn't play in summer league and everyone's wondering, you know, how good is this kid? How good is he? And I'm one of those people, I'm like, man, I gotta, I gotta see it. You know, I gotta, I gotta go out there on the court. And I gotta, the exact same thing. I'm like, I gotta see it. Man, I, <laughs> you we, we played a pickup the other day, man. He got dimes. Yeah, what I tell y'all, man. He got dimes. He got dimes. Like, I mean, just if you're open, I mean, boom, the ball's gonna be right there. I mean, he's got the flair. He can, he can see the floor. He can run a team. 
It, it was impressive. I mean, you, you played with a lot of great passers in your time, not only Golden State, also at North Carolina. Mm -hmm. Describe for someone who's 19 years old to be passing like that. What is that? Is that does that jump out at you that you're too young to be throwing passes <laughs> like that? It, it just shows you, man, that he's he's that much more mature, you know, at his age, you know, mm -hmm. to be able to kind of just see things, you know, he doesn't really get rattled off, and um, his ability to come off pick and roll is always kind of in control, always knows, okay, I'm going to throw this lob here, I'm going to throw it to open guy here, I'm going to come over here and throw it behind my head and get the big wide open layup, you know, just little things like that, I think, is huge for someone who's 19. I mean, we look at him as a rookie, but he didn't go to college, he's been playing professionally yeah. Yeah. for With quite men. some time now against grown men, so it's not like that guy who comes into the league as a rookie who played against college guys, you know, this guy has been playing professionally for some years now, so, you know, he, he's ahead of the game than that regular college guy that came out at 19, played one year, wherever, so, I, you know, he's ahead of the game, I think, right now. All right, well, you heard it here on the jump. Apparently, Luka Doncic is going to be good. Okay. And um, the Dallas Mavericks, Harrison thinks to make the playoffs this year, so we'll be saving that clip and holding you to it as Absolutely. we go. You're a guy who knows about cha a championship. Then you went to Dallas and got your bag, so you got to go now make this team. <laughs>